Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. This is Optibonimus coming to you with another video review. And today we're going to be taking a look at the new Transformers Combiner Wars Deluxe Class Rook. Now, not only is Rook a new member of the Protective Bots, he's also the only completely new mold for the Protective Bots. For the packaging, you can see that what they're basically doing for the uh, actual card is using the actual comic. As you can see, you got the IDW, the Hasbro exclusive cover there with a real cool image of Rook. You got Transformers here on the side, the Generation logo. You can see that he combines the form Defensor. You got an image of Defensor here on the side. Then on the back of them, you can see all Wave 3 actually highlighted here and how they actually combine to form Defensor. Then here, it says, if you need a rescue deep behind enemy lines or deep beneath battlefield rubble, Rook can get it done. His Durabilium Super Alloy Armor can withstand punishing blasts and hold up under crushing weight. And his vast tactical knowledge can get him out of any jam. <laughs> Durabilium? <laughs> okay, whatever. But um, you also see that he's, or it's got his uh, robot mode as well as his vehicle mode, also transforms in nine steps. And as part of uh, the Combiner Wars, they are going with that full Scramble City sort of thing. So Rook can be either an arm or a leg. Uh, they have him shown as being an arm, but Rook is really kind of meant to not necessarily replace Groove because we are still getting a Groove figure, but instead of giving us a deluxe size Groove, which kind of would look weird with a large SWAT vehicle, they decided to give us a, a new character to kind of put in that spot. And Groove is going to be a legend size figure, which scales much better. But because this is kind of replacing Groove, for me, he's going to be a leg. But for the packaging, I mean, that's about it. So without further ado, let's get him open and see how cool he actually is. All right, guys, so here we have Rook opened up and out of his packaging. And as you can see, he's this big SWAT vehicle thingamajigger. Uh, now, he does come with a couple accessories. He's got this and then obviously his hand slash foot kind of thing. You take those off and that's basically what you have. Now, the weapon, it's kind of strange. This reminds me of one of those like bomb disposable unit things. You know how they have that little claw? It's, but those are always on tiny little drones. So for them to include it on here is kind of silly, but I, I think it's kind of cool to actually use this on here that you can have that go around and pretend that this whole armored uh, SWAT vehicle is kind of like a bomb disposal. You, so you got that little peg right there. You got a peg right there. You got pegs on the back here that you can put all this. You got this big giant, or I'm sorry, these are holes. You got a big peg right here that you can put this on there, which I think, I think that looks pretty cool. You just put some like missile kind of things on the top there. So you do have some weapon storage here in the vehicle mode. Uh, you can see he's got three wheels. So pretty heavy duty kind of look for this guy. It is really very simple, but there's some pretty decent, nice molded detail on here. You got SWAT police. You got the Autobot logo right there. You got all this white paint you got some silver on here though as well which i do like to see and then you got some blue coming across got some uh, yellow here for headlights i like how the blue actually carries down here overall i mean it's a pretty decent looking vehicle mode now like i said because he is well not meant to replace groove we are still getting a groove figure he just kind of is taking his spot as a limb i guess now, i'm probably going to use him as kind of groove in my uh, protective bots but here you have the G1 groove, and here you have Rook now. I always thought that this guy was way too big. I mean, he's, he's pretty small, but I always thought that he was way too big when you compared him to, you know, an, an ambulance or a helicopter or a police car or something like that. There's no reason why a police car should be the same size as a motorcycle. So I'm really happy that they uh, took Groove and made him a legend figure that really utilizes that scale, I think, fairly nicely. But we'll cover that here a little bit more when I actually take a look at the, the legend class Groove. But th there's your size comparison here in I guess vehicle mode now that being said uh, like I, I talked about I am probably going to use him as groove but I really haven't decided entirely yet because as a leg I don't think he works all that well so going to his leg mode really all you do is you take this section detach this you rotate this up kind of get his head out of the way it tucks in there get that up there and then you got these slots that are right on the inside here that these little tabs are going to plug into so get that right there and then you take this section rotate that down like that bring this combiner port around then you take his foot section 
bring it in and there's his leg uh, now again for a comparison this is uh, groove as a leg uh, it's pretty big but I I'm honestly not a huge fan of how he looks in his uh, I guess leg configuration bringing in a uh, hotspot here uh, and attaching this the combiner port is the exact same type of connection um, I, I don't know I, I don't like this big gap right here and there's no real way that you can bring this up I, I mean I probably would just rotate this around but for the protective bots they actually had uh, both in the cartoon and the toy they actually had their limbs having the top part of their vehicle kind of here in the front so I don't know I, I'm not a real big fan of how that actually looks so what I actually might do is the swap a couple pieces and actually make this an arm. But we'll see. But uh, for that, there, there's how he looks. Um, now I'm not going to give you the full look because I'm going to do Defensor all by himself. So I don't want to spoil things too much for you guys. But now to uh, go back, you just take this. And then obviously you can take this section like this. You already have the legs pretty much done. So then split this. We're going to his robot. Angle these out. Rotate this around. Make sure you push that all the way in. On the side, like so, get that down, clear that out of the way. Tab that in just like so, kind of straighten this, you take this, rotate this down, bring his head around, rotate it around like so. You have this kind of lifted away, so then rotate this out, rotate this out, that tabs in there very securely. Get that up, rotate that, then you rotate these little bits around putting them on the back side of them, straighten out his legs, take this back section, collapse this up, and there you have Rook in his robot mode. And I, I really dig the way that this guy looks. Now, I will totally admit that the guy does take some getting used to, mostly here with his arms, uh, well, his arms and his hands. Uh, as you can see, they, they seem very short and very stubby. Um, it's it's really kind of silly looking, honestly, but they're not too bad. And then when you look at him, you can see molded on the inside here. He does have like these hands that are molded in, but then he also has these giant cannons right there, which uh, when, when you look at it, it looks like his hands are just cannons. That, that kind of throws me off a little bit. I, I do wish that it, there was some kind of a gap right here to, to actually make it look like there was a hand and then to get him to, you know, potentially hold this right here. I mean, as it is, he can just plug that in there if you really wanted to, but I mean... It, it just looks strange. And then I also don't like these pieces hanging there. I wish they could have put a hinge on there that would allow you to collapse this up because you just got this empty cavity right there. I don't know why they couldn't have you know done something where there was a swivel right here to make that collapse up. Uh, but I mean, overall, it, it is a really cool looking figure. I like his head sculpt a lot. I don't particularly like the fact that he's got an Autobot logo right in the center of his crest but coming up to take a look at that i think that that head sculpt is cool i mean he's got a really very nice head sculpt there uh, you can kind of make out some eyes they're more squinted but does that autobot logo just in the middle of his head I, I i think is rather strange looking but sculpt wise i think that he looks pretty solid and comes across very nicely uh you got his wheels which here i nah, know those are kind of strange um but real a really nice looking figure i i was very surprised very simple but i still really dig him he definitely has a very the protective bot feel to him i mean he does look like he is meant to be a protective bot i guess uh for his articulation you can see that the head is on a little bit of a ball joint so you can get it looking left and right it kind of pivots a little not much the shoulders here move in and out back and forth on ball joints they rotate here at the upper part of the bicep they bend here at the elbow and yeah again i mean they just Really stumpy looking arms. Uh, he does rotate at the waist. Now, that comes in handy, obviously, when you have him in arm mode. The hips move forward and back. They rotate at the upper part of the thigh. Bends here at uh, the knee itself. Uh, y y he does have ankle pivot, so you can get him standing pretty wide. I mean, that's really kind of cool. I'm quite impressed with that. And you can get some cool poses with him. Uh, I, I, like I said, that kind of strange looking. But, I mean, in general, I mean, that's a cool looking guy. 
And there's no question. I mean, he definitely has a cool look to him. So all the articulation that you would want for posability is there. The posability on him is pretty solid, so you can get him in some great action poses or things like that. Now, like I said, he can also be an arm. And for me, I think his arm mode looks a little bit better. So to do that, we're just going to collapse these just like so. Get that attached. Uh, now you can get his head out of the way. You got to bring this section out obviously or you know i mean depending on what arm you're going to have them as you, you rotate that around accordingly so getting that like that uh, this section here obviously does do the same thing as all the other combiner wars uh, hand feet things you can have it be both a hand or a foot and it transforms the exact same way so we're going to make him a left arm i guess right now so you do that then these pieces here I'm going to get that out of the way you're going to rotate that, basically transform it back. And then there's a little a tab that sticks up right here that's going to slot on the underside here. So locking that down, do that on this side as well. Kind of rotate that, bring this up, bring that down, locking that into place. Take this, lift this up, and take the head, tuck that down. Probably should rotate his head around just to kind of hide the, the actual face. So bring that up lock that into place, bring that there, and there you have his arm in. Like I said, I, th I think that as an arm, he looks a little better. So I might actually do that with him instead of keeping him as a, a leg, but then you just slot that down, and we'll see all of this in my full review of Defensor, but that's what you basically have. It's a big, bulky arm, obviously, but uh, I mean, I think it looks a little bit nicer and a little bit cleaner here, you know, and you can position this however you want, but Defensor, I think, is coming across very nicely, and as a Scramble City, you, you do have many different options with it, so getting this to detach. So all that being said, it is personal preference. So what, whatever you think is gonna look best for your display, that's what you're gonna wanna do, obviously. So pick and choose, you got options at least. And that's what I think is the coolest part about the Combined Awards. They give you those options. And it, it, it's a nice homage to that original G1 Scramble City setup. I, I think that that is absolutely terrific. But going back here, obviously, to his robot mode, you can see very simple transformation. Gets there very quickly. That's one of the cool elements on here. They transform really very fast. Now, for a comparison, here's the uh, G1 Groove. And because this is the only other thing that I have right next to me, there's the Deluxe slash Warrior class, the Autobot Drift from RID. So you can see scale-wise, you know, he's obviously a Deluxe figure and fits in that kind of size class fairly nicely. Now, uh, taking him back to his vehicle mode, again, very, very simple to do. Just kind of get these arms out of the way, detach this, rotate his head around, Take these sections, collapse these up along the side. Do that on both sides. You can fold these feet down just like so. Then you bring everything together, squeeze it all just like that. Take these sections. Again, you want to make sure that you get this obviously rotated around, but you want to bring this up. And like I said, there is that section. I'm trying to get this out of the way where I can show. Oh, maybe I'll show you here. This little tab right here is going to slot into the underside of the hand. So when you get this rotated around, make sure that you find that slot. And it, I'm flipping it around trying to get a good look at it. You can see it here from the bottom. And then just bring this down locking that into place just like so that slots in there nicely do that on this side as well bringing that down tapping that into place just like so you can take the head in here keep that nice and straight rotate that up just like that bring this down and these all slot and tab in the place and there you have rook back in his swat vehicle mode now as i said because he's kind of meant to take the spot of Groove, a lot of people are really going to complain about that. I don't mind it all that much. I, I really do understand the reasoning behind it, and I think that it's perfectly fine. And at least they're still giving us a Groove in some capacity. 
And in that capacity, Groove is still a part of the Protectobots. So I'm really happy with their decision here. Vehicle mode for Rook, though, I think looks really cool. It's pr probably a little bit smaller than it should be, being a SWAT vehicle and all. But I think looks really very cool. There's some decent paint applications. Obviously, it has a little bit more of a police look, which gives it that white primary color, I suppose. But it looks good. The transformation on it is very simple, but still fairly fun to do, and it's effective. Robot mode might have the most complaints, I think, mostly in the fact that his arms are a little stubby, his hands are kind of weirdish looking. It's it's like, does he have hands or does he have cannons for hands? And then these little panels right here, I really do wish could tuck under and actually fold. But all in all, it's still a great looking robot mode. And then as a combiner, he can be either a leg or an arm. So you do have those options. And I think really either looks pretty good, but the arm I just feel that fits him a little bit better. So unfortunately for me, it's not going to be a true, I guess, representation of how Defensor looked because I'm going to probably use his arm mode for Defensor as opposed to using the leg like I would if it was Groove. But like I said, the options are there and I think that is terrific. So far, once again, Hasbro is doing a great job with these Combiner War figures and I cannot recommend these enough to you guys. Now, Wave 3 is slowly starting to trickle out to retail. So good luck and happy hunting. Or as always, there's Big Bad Toy Store. So all you have to do is click on the link down in the video description. You'll go to BBTS where you can pick this up and add them to your collection. But beyond that, guys, that's about it. So once again, I want to thank you for tuning in. This has been Optibotamus. Don't forget that you can keep in touch with me by liking my Facebook page at facebook.com slash teambotamus and by following me over on Twitter at twitter.com slash optibotamus. Also, I'd encourage you to check out my website at optibotomusreviews.com where you can see all my videos from the previous week, see what I have coming up for future release, and also get your very own Optibotomus t-shirt. And finally, I'd also really appreciate it, guys, that if you like this review, don't forget to please like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, I'll talk to you later. Dismissed.